Assalamualaikum and a very good day. My name is Karim Muhammad Mustafa. I'm from Faculty of Science Kesihatan UiTM Cawangan Pulau Pinang, Kampus Bertam. Today I'll be presenting um, the relationship between knowledge, self-efficacy and psychological distress among PDK communities in Pinang, a preliminary study. Um, this research was made possible with the collaboration of Dr. Siti Nur Fazilah Hussein, Muhammad Azwan bin Azri, Dr. Kartini Ilyas and also Muhammad Iqbal bin Shaharuddin. With regards to the content of my presentation today, I'll be discussing the introduction, the methods, the result and findings, discussion and conclusion, the limitation and recommendation for future studies. In terms of the introduction, the Department of Social Welfare was formed 37 years ago in 1983 in Kuala Terengganu in collaboration with uh, World Health Organization. Now, under the Department of Social Welfare, we have the Community-Based Rehabilitation Center or Pusat Pemulihan Dalam Committee, also known as PDK. Now, PDK was created with the hopes of ensuring that within community, there is a center to train and to provide skills to those who are disabled or basically a rehabilitation center. With inside the rehabilitation center or PDK, we have helpers or volunteers or the PDK committees and they are the ones who help to train and provide skills to the disabled people. And we talk about disabled, it's not just physical disability, there's, there's also um, individuals with developmental disabilities and also mental disabilities. Now, when we talk about the PDK committees or the people, the volunteers, the helpers, they come from diverse educational background and not everyone have proper um, exposure to healthcare setting. And this is where they hone their skill by attending trainings and workshops so that they can provide the best services um, to those who attend the PDK. Now, when we talk about uh, expertise, this is where we talk about the importance of experts in healthcare setting. Now, again, uh, the PDK committees are volunteers, are helpers. And again, they may not have the expertise that the experts in healthcare uh, services have. This is where those experts, it's very important for those experts to train or to share their skills through knowledge transfer and exchange and this is where they are able to provide knowledge into action uh, especially we talk about academician we don't only talk about research but we also put those results of the findings of the research into action so that people who are actually doing something in the ground who is actually doing the groundwork they are able to use the knowledge to take care or to benefit the community itself now, we we'll talk about the importance of knowledge. Uh, we we'll talk about knowledge transfer and exchange program. Um, knowledge itself is very important. And one good outcome of knowledge is self-efficacy. When people have knowledge, they also have higher self-efficacy. Self-efficacy is the belief that they are able to perform a certain action. And this is where uh, when we do knowledge transfer and exchange program, experts give knowledge, then it is, it is possible or past studies have shown that the self-efficacy of the helpers or the volunteers or the social workers will also increase and this is where they are more confident in doing their job even though uh, with their diverse educational background. Um, numerous studies also found that uh, when there is knowledge, um, it also increases work performance, job satisfaction and also self-efficacy. Now, self-efficacy, with the increase of self-efficacy, we can see that uh, when people are confident in doing their job, they are more happy. And when there is low self-efficacy, past studies have shown that when there is low self-efficacy, when they're not confident in doing their job, when they don't believe that they are able to, comp uh, they are not competent enough to do their job, this is where they become stressed or they become burnout. And this is where we talk about psychological distress. Therefore, past studies have talked about the importance of knowledge, the importance of self-efficacy and how it can impact psychological distress um, among those who are in the healthcare setting. In this study specifically, we'll be focusing on the PDK committees and the objective of this research is to determine the relationship between knowledge and perceived self-efficacy and to determine the relationship between perceived self-efficacy self and also psychological distress. In terms of the methods, this is a quantitative study, uh, it's a cross-sectional study, one time only, um, and the data will be analyzed using SPSS 21, focusing on inflation statistics, specifically the candle star correlation coefficient. Because this is a pre preliminary study, the sample size is small, and uh, we're not able to achieve um, 
normal distribution so we are going for non-parametric uh, inferential statistic or non-parametric correlation coefficient which is the candle store correlation coefficient in terms of the participants so basically again the importance of knowledge transfer and exchange we organize a workshop we provide training we share our knowledge and based on the knowledge after they completed the training then they answer the questionnaire uh, so this is where after they completed the training they gain the knowledge we assess their knowledge and also their self-efficacy and also their psychological distress therefore the measures that is being used is in terms of knowledge uh, the items are related to the content of the training itself in terms of self-efficacy it was measured using self-efficacy skill for social uh, workers um, and then for psychological distress, we use psychological uh, depression, anxiety and stress skill or DAS21 with 21 item. Now all the combat alpha for self-efficacy and psychological distress were found, were, were found to be in an acceptable range for this current study. And this is basically the socio-economic um, information for the participants of this study. In terms of the result and finding, uh, this is basically the descriptive statistic. We are able to see this total possible score and also the maximum score obtained by the participants. Um, the knowledge were high. Uh, the knowledge was high. Persistent efficacy was also uh, moderate. Uh, in terms of emotional regulation, these are domains of perceived self-efficacy. In terms of psychological distress, it's also moderate. In terms of candle stock correlation coefficient, there is a significant relationship between knowledge and perceived self-efficacy in which uh, there is a significant increase of knowledge will significantly increase perceived self-efficacy as well. Knowledge also increase certain domain of per uh, perceived self-efficacy in which with high knowledge there is also high uh, procedural self-efficacy meaning that they are able to know how to do their task, procedure, the procedure that is required of them. Uh, additionally, when we talk about psychological distress, perceived self-efficacy or overall self-efficacy is not significant with psychological distress, but uh, support request, which is a domain of perceived self-efficacy, uh, was found to be significantly correlated with psychological distress, in which increase in support request will also increase uh, psychological distress. When we talk about this discussion, so basically the relationship between knowledge and also perceived self-efficacy is consistent in numerous studies in the past. This is expected because again with the increase of knowledge, then there is increase of self-efficacy. Uh, and this is also applicable for PDK committee, uh, consistent with past studies. However, when we talk about a uh, specific domain which is um, support requests, it is negatively associated with psychological distress, meaning that high support requests a high psychological distress which is quite weird but again there are also studies in the past that have shown that um, the reason why high support requests can uh, it is found to be associated with psychological distress is because that sometimes when people seek support and they are not able to obtain that support then it becomes very distressing for them additionally there are also some studies that have shown that when people seek support but the problem is not resolved then they will feel bad and that is the source of psychological distress in terms of uh, limitation and recommendation, again this is a preliminary study so future studies can do this study or this research in a bigger sample size and with a bigger sample size this is where um, higher order analysis can be done and is highly recommended. Uh, at best we can go for regression or multiple regression. Additionally instead of doing a cross-sectional in nature, a pre and post study can also be helpful in which we measure knowledge before and knowledge after or self-efficacy before and self-efficacy self after the uh, training itself. So to conclude basically uh, knowledge transfer and exchange is very important, it's very important for experts to actually go down to the field and also share their knowledge not just um, be helpful in their professional setting because again there are many communities or there are many community setting that can be very helpful to provide support to the community at community level. These are the references that are used um, in the study when we talk about past studies um, uh, that support or that do not support these findings. Thank you that is all for my presentation.